This week on Rugged Expeditions, sheep hunting in the mountains is all about glassing. You hike, you glass, you hike some more, you glass. You're looking over vast, vast areas, just looking for that little white speck maybe that you'll see that's a sheep laying down in a rocky crag or perhaps down in the canyon getting out of the weather. The spot we were in was as good of a sheep hunting position as you could be in. All we gotta do now is have the right one step into an opening and it's showtime. Brought to you by Safari Club International, first for hunters. Coming to Yakutia is one of those trips that when you look on the map and you realize how far away you have to go to get there, it's mind boggling. Now the marathon starts. I think if you really analyze it closely, you just wouldn't do it. When we finally did make the Yakutia, we figured, well, we're gonna spend a night in a hotel, have a shower. After all, we've been on the road for 57 hours just getting here. So, two of us, our bags didn't show up. We did get our guns, that's the good news. The good news but we is got Phil no and Jay have a store. <laughs> the hours of operation will be from like 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Weekdays, not on the weekend. Figgy and Link will have a store. I guess we're going to have to suck up to them, Alan. So, all to of a sudden, the price of a pair of socks out here in the bush has gone way up. The, the problem is we can't stay another day and wait for them because the weather's gotten nice and the weather's a big issue here. So we've got to try and get out while we can in the helicopter. And so we're going to be scrounging for our various ensemble items needed. All my gear, all my clothes. A shaving kit, none of it showed up in okay, Yakutia. Cool. So, what do you do but try and go do a little shopping and find yourself some new duds for your next time? This, this is what this is all I got. Right? Yes, yes, yes. That was okay. okay, I need the other one of these. Found some good gear, wasn't too bad. They actually had some stuff that sort of fit. So, sometimes you got to suck it up. <laughs> this is an expensive this trip. Is, I just paid twenty-nine thousand dollars for one outfit. Our intrepid guide, Anson Ostabi, decided since the weather was good, we should just head straight out in the helicopter, and he had everything planned and ready to go, so off we went to camp. Waking up to a bright sunny day is such a rare occasion on a sheep hunt, especially up here in the middle of nowhere in Russia. Everybody's excited. They're all ready to go. You guys are packing up last minute items and we're heading up the valley. We're gonna work our way up through this canyon up here, follow this stream up, and the guides are telling us that we're gonna go back up here into these high mountains behind us. So, should be a great adventure. It's a great day. It's so rare to get this kind of weather that I'm not sure how to handle it. We're going up to a spike camp, five or six hours hike away. This is a tough hunt. This is climbing and brutal and carrying weight the whole way. 
all the time when you're hunting, you got to carry your rain gear, you're carrying your lunch, you got your ammo, you got your rifle. There's a lot to it. One of the things in these steep mountains that's a must have is a good walking stick. We come up through this valley, long, long ways. Start out early this morning. This is where we're gonna make our spike cam, great little spot. We've got a creek right next to us. You can see where the guys have been in here already scouting. We've seen some females already right above us, so this looks like a really good spot. Keep our fingers crossed that this good weather holds. Oh yeah. This pack is really doing me good. I got all the stuff I need in here. I got my rain gear now. Got a really nice chapeau from Ostavi's hunting tours. Got some wipes, got some mosquito repellent. Got a head net just in case the bugs are really bad, although so far they've been pretty good. And we had a frost this morning, which really helps keep them bugs down. Got some other basics of life right here. Ammo. Don't leave home without it. Kids at home, don't forget. Parachute cord. I think we're ready to go. What a great place to hunt. And there's nothing better than being up here in the mountains like this. There's some ewes that are walking out from the right. They're coming across that grassy opening right there. That one ewe is so white, it's amazing. We've seen 22 ewes right here. First big ridge we walked over, and they're right here, so. Usually where there's females, there should be some males hanging around too. Not in the same bands, but they're usually in these valleys here where there's lots of feed. All right, let's go. We're gonna walk along this ridge line and see what's happening. Hunting the Yakutia sheep reminds me a lot of when we were hunting that other member of the snow sheep family, the Koryak sheep. You've got steep hills, you've got canyons, you've got to walk up to get close to them. They're smart animals like all the wild sheep are. They're very similar in their features and the terrain that they live in. We've got sheep, We've got sheep right up here in that big group. We've been able to sneak in on them. They're about 350, so let's go. That thrill of sneaking in close for the shot, the surge of excitement that courses through your veins when an animal busts out in front of you is why we keep going back for more. Stay right there. I see, I see. Okay. <laughs> Just <laughs> chopped right in his tracks. We could see them over there at a thousand yards. We started out. We came back around up here behind the sun. I thought, no way are they going to wait. We got in here to 350 yards away. Thank God these things are fighting each other. They weren't paying attention at all to us. It allowed us to get right in tight on us. And that biggest one of the bunch, he finally stepped clear from fighting. And we got a good bullet in him. Yes! Way to go. Let's go see what he looks like, huh? Oh my gosh, he's even better than I thought he was. What a beautiful sheep. Wow, look at that. Look at those bases, huh? These are gorgeous animals. Really a beautiful representative of the species. Ten-year-old sheep. You can see why they call him the snow sheep. He's got some white right here on him. Oh, my goodness. A hard one trophy. This is why we go sheep. Having spent most of the day hiking across treacherous ridges and spotting numerous herds of Yakutia sheep made up of mostly ewes, 
J. Allen Smith and crew have yet to find a mature ram mingling within. They are moving all the time, so maybe you would lost them. They are like... Dang it. Just a bit too small. I got right in here inside 400 yards on him. Tried to make him as big as I could, but at some point you gotta say no, he's not old enough. Especially on the first day. There is also that factor though that if we would have shot him, we wouldn't have to come back up this mountain. If the cameraman is saying, that sounds like a really good idea. Maybe we'll see a big one on the way out. It's not over till it's over. After such a great day yesterday of sunny weather and seeing lots of sheep, today we woke up to fog and rain and not much we can do. We just gotta hang out. If it's foggy, you can't see any sheep, so there's no sense in even walking up the mountain to check it out. But Got all my borrowed clothes on, nice and warm. Drying out my long undies and stuff from all the sweat yesterday. Got a book. Oh, you just gotta be patient. That's what happens sometimes when you're sheep hunting, so. Just a matter of killing time till it gets better. Wow, talk about a change. We went from spending a whole day, 24 hours plus, sitting in this little tent, staying out of the rain and the fog had rolled in. Now we woke to a gorgeous day, just beautiful, not a cloud in the sky. This is sheep hunting, and I'm getting ready to go. Sheep hunting in the mountains is all about glassing. You hike, you glass, you hike some more, you glass, you're looking over vast, vast areas, just looking for that little white speck maybe that you'll see that's a sheep laying down in a rocky crag or perhaps down in a canyon getting out of the weather. The good news, bad news is you're seeing some animals, that's the good news. The bad news is typically your big rams, or as they call them here in Russia, Bolshoi Baran, they're not hanging with the ewes. But it was exciting getting to see all those sheep, whether it was male or female. The bottom one, I think I can see horns, but the others look like all females. That'd be weird to have one big male with a bunch of females. So we'll see. We're putting this spotting scope on. Sure as hell, once Onston got the spotting scope on them, we could see that they were all rams. But at that distance, we couldn't really see whether they were shooters or not. So we had to do the sneaky sneak back around the way we'd come and try and get on top of them and get a better look at them. We just caught the back end of one just as he was going over the ridge heading off to the left. So we had to reposition and hustle around and try and head him off before they headed out of the valley. The spot we were in was as good of a sheep hunting position as you could be in. We've got and right all in we gotta face. do now is have the right one step into an opening and it's showtime. You see at least two of them there? Yeah, they both got their head down? Yeah. Yep. It's the second one? It's the second one. Now he's walking a little bit to the right. Yeah. And he's still grassing. Just like in any big game hunting, Shot placement is everything. Once I had to worry a bit because right there. of the amount of altitude I was above the sheep. And that steep downhill shot like that can certainly send your bullet high lots of times. Oh, you hit him perfect. There he goes. He run only a few meters. And then, and then it's finished. 
down he goes. <laughs> good shooting. <sure thing. laughs> good shooting. <sure> Very <laughs> really good shooting. Sure what a great, what a great ram. Uh. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, that was awesome. Uh, <laughs> the Yakutia awesome. Mountains, here we are. Here we are. Look at this. Windy place, beautiful place. For sure a beautiful place. This is what makes all the hiking, all the knee burning, uh huh. All this effort sleeping in a tent. <laughs> this is burps. this is a real rugged expedition here, baby. This isn't your ride around in the truck expedition. Real hunting. We've been hunting for days now, trying to get on these things. What a great animal! Let's go see if he looks like up close, huh? Oh yeah. Look at this one now. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's better than we thought. Yes, much better than we thought. Really good. Look at this. What a great, great trophy. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that. Yakutian snow sheep. Beautiful. 35, 36 inch, I guess. Look at that, huh? Nine, ten years Comes old. all the way back up, past the full curl. You know, we came out here hoping to get a decent trophy and when you get up in these mountains like this and you're hunting in these kinds of conditions, you can't be too picky. We passed some up earlier and then we got on top of this bunch and you know, here was this big boy in among them. So we were lucky enough to collect him. Beautiful white patch on his forehead, which is a classic Yakutia sheep. Only they have this. And uh, he's, you can see he's been fighting right here. He's a, he was the bad boy of that herd, but he's not gonna be bad no more. When we got back from the spike camp we've been at with our sheep, some of the other guys were already back. And the next afternoon, we were joined by the rest of the gang who had all gone in different directions from the original camp. It was great to get caught up with everybody, hear their tales of adventure, laugh and be together again and just get caught up and have a good old hunting camp. You might've heard it before and you're gonna hear it again today. Wild sheep meat is the best meat on the face of the earth. I don't know if it's because you have to bust your butt so bad to get it, or if it actually is that good tasting in reality. But when we got back to the main camp and the guys put together a shish kebab, or as they say in Russia, shashlik, it was awesome. We all got together in the dining area and ate up and had a few cocktails and just had a great time catching up and having the stories just continue through the night. In a way, sheep hunting is a lot like life in general. It's not easy, you gotta set a goal, and you gotta work hard. You can't let a little bad weather in life screw things up for you. You gotta stay persistent. Perseverance in tough times is the key to success. And the reward at the end of the day, whether it's climbing a mountain or achieving any other goals in your life, is all worthwhile when it all comes together.